Hi guys, this is going to be a very short video. So, what's coming is um, a Hannibal CME heading for Earth, okay? And they are all coming on May 11th. This is the day after the WHO meeting and the Palestinian uh, two-state solution, okay? Four or five of them are one after another, and the ones behind are catching up with the ones in front making one huge CME. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you a picture from uh, Live Storm Chasers. It's a um, uh, weather related, and Friday, okay, the 11th, or is that the 10th? No, it's the 10th. Saturday, or Friday night, they're saying that the aura is so big, it is engulfing the the world, the whole front end of the world, almost the whole entire world, and it looks like a massive eyeball. Anyways, um, so, and if this causes the big CME like that, it could cause lights out, and remember that song, boom, 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 out goes the lights? Okay, so those lights could be the dead in Christ rising, we which are alive and remain, caught up in the air during this aura time because God is powerful, God is beautiful, and it shows all his glory, right? And we, we've been seeing auras. You guys have seen what I've been seeing. Never in my life seen that. Well, this, everyone's going to be able to see these auras. I mean, come on. And so May 11th, okay, is 33 days from the eclipse. And th 33... Um, is when Jesus began his ministry at his age, okay? And it could be the second part of the fulfillment of the Revelation 12 sign, like the eclipse and the Revelation 12 in 2017 were also 33 days apart. Um, and then what if we see fallen angels on the 11th? Don't know. Not saying that the rapture's that day. I don't know, but I think that this is pretty important. Um, and think about this. This is exactly seven days before the 40 days end. Remember, I just did a video right before this video that said things are going to escalate three days prior to. It's just going to go boom, 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 keep domino effect. There you go. Um, and to think, a lot of people aren't talking about the dead in Christ. Well, you have to understand something that I want people to really, really, really process this. The dead in Christ shall rise first. They leave before we do. So, don't get so caught up with oh, the rapture, the rapture, okay? I, I, and I'm not saying about the rapture, but like, don't get caught up. Obviously, we're watching. But it it is, they don't, we don't leave immediately. We could leave three days after. We could leave an hour after. But it is not immediate because they go first. But we do get changed in the moment in the twinkling of an eye. I want to read you two scriptures, okay? 1 Thessalonians oops, 4, 16, 17. For the Lord himself, um, actually I'm going to read 15. For this we say to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord will by no means precede those who are asleep. Okay, you understand that? The dead in Christ will rise first and then for the Lord himself would descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of an archangel and with the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ will rise first then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and thus we shall always be with the Lord Therefore, comfort one another with these words. Now, I want you to understand this is not the second coming. The second coming, he comes down on Mount Zion. His feet step on it. Mountains break. Okay? He comes back. He comes back with us. Now, the other scripture I want to read is 1 Corinthians 15. Um, eh, 51 and 52. Behold, I tell you a mystery, we shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Okay, I don't know if this excites you guys, but it sure does me. All these prophetic events, one right after another, like I said, this is these 40 days we're going to be 
something big for those who wanted to sit there and say this wasn't a warning, nothing's going to happen. Well, proof's in the pudding, y'all. See you there in the air. God bless.